and watches it, misses. Well, they like it, they've appealed. Yeah, you're on screen. The change in Broad is out. Stuart Broad's dismissal, he didn't seem to think he was out and most of the Australians didn't really appeal. Um, what, how, what did you make of that? Oh, look, I take with a grain of salt what Stuart Broadie thinks about some of his dismissals because, I've, look, I've played a lot against him and watched him a lot the last few years and he just seems like one of those guys that's never out, never thinks he's out. I watched the reaction from the fieldsman behind the wicket straight away, painting through the ball straight up. Steve Smith had no hesitation at all in referring it straight away and as we saw there was a, um, a hot spot mark on the bat and quite a big um, little spike in the, in the snicko thing, so enough evidence for me. Do you talk us through the, the Tim Payne dismissal of Moen Alley from your point of view? The stumping one, I was actually sitting in the lunchroom watching it on the television and um, sitting around the table and I was a fair way away from the TV screen so I couldn't get a very clear view of what it looked like but I got out of my chair and got up and got closer to the TV screen and, and at the time, because of the way I could see the line, to me it didn't look like there was any part of his foot actually behind the line. And then you have a look at the line, it looks like the line might be not completely um, the way it maybe could have been but I mean those lines, are, they're painted six or eight times a day I suppose, they're painted in the morning, they're painted at the break and the change of innings and all that sort of stuff so um, I'm sure there'll be something made of it, probably more than there should be, I mean it's it's not done on purpose, just this is the way it's worked out and unfortunately the wicket's fallen that way but um, as we know he wasn't behind the line, if you're not behind the line you're out.